Okay, you're live again on Facebook. Okay, Instagram. Good to go. Yep. Howdy! <laughs> good day. Yeah. Good to see you here. Yeah. Yeah, we're happy. To our uh, noontime, our lunchtime QA. Um, today, uh, we're going to address, we, we've had several questions involving um, the online training. So we thought we'd explain that a little bit. Um, in general, uh, from the very beginning of my career, you know, a, a, a decades ago, 36 years ago, um, it, I, I learned that there, there's always been that section of the dog training world where you take your dog someplace uh, and have them train the dog. Now, where I first experienced that was uh, when I was just a kid, uh, be, be, before this career started uh, with gun dog training. So you would take the dog in, the, they would do all the work, uh, expose the dog to the birds, you know, blah, blah. But you always came in for what was called handover. Okay, and so you actually shadowed the trainer, uh, you, you had your gun, your, you know, the birds, so that um, you learned how to handle the dog according to uh, what, what the trainer had done. That's always been the problem is, yes, it's very convenient. It seems so, you know, that we can bring our dog in, we're going to have the dog trained, and then the dog will come back trained. That rarely uh, lasts very long if there's not a really, really efficient handover and if that's not on the turf uh, where the dog's going to be living, it really can be problematic uh, because the dog comes out of the place where the trainer was the boss, it's on his turf, you know, whatever, we come home, ha ha, school's out. And we have some issues. Okay, so we believe uh, in training you to train your dog. That's what dog to dog is all about, is our thing. When, when Dars, uh, when I first, when she was a student of mine many, 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 many years ago, um, I went in and trained her how to understand, assess, and train her little Cairn Terrier. And the good thing about that was I had had experiences with um, a couple other trainers. And I mean, one was, uh, very intense and harsh and the other one was on the other spectrum um, and it was problematic because it kind of didn't fit uh, and, and it wasn't fixing any of my problems so having somebody come into my house and show me like what my dog was this is you know these are her drives these are her character traits this is how she's put together um, for me to understand what she was and to do my homework on my turf, it made all the difference in the world. And I was able to use it with my other dogs because I had learned. Um, and then I called for more training or more support because then I had a dog and a cat issue. You know, um, I had some chihuahuas come in and I had some other issues. So it was like adding to what I already had learned, but had I handed my dog over to somebody else and they had come back into my environment, um, things would have fallen apart um, easily because I wouldn't have known what I needed to do. Yeah. Okay. So having said that, right, that was done on, on Darcy's turf. I mean, she, she's a neighbor, right? More or less. I mean, she's a different city, but I mean, close. Um, we had students, this is, this is kind of history, right? We had students come to us from different places, different states, um, in one case, a different country. Um, and we said, well, okay, uh, the technology is awesome, right? Right? It is awesome. Um, and we did Zoom with those people. It was extremely effective 
Um, it worked way better than I, I'll be honest, than I thought it was going to. And for the very principles we've just discussed to answer your questions, you know, those of you who are wondering, does online training, is, is it the same? Yes, it can be. Yeah. It's, uh, it's training you wherever you want to be. Now, most often that's at your home, but this can be done. Uh, I mean, we've done this forever, you know, so, so our ability to describe, to, to put into your mind, get to give you the assignments necessary to alter your dog's behavior, to modify, to manage those things that are going on can absolutely be done online. And the reason we want to do this, uh, we'll be very honest with you. Um, yes, it's our business, but uh, we specialize in a warm, safe environment for both the human and the dog. That, that is what we, what we do. All of our students, I think, would agree with that. Um, I know because they, they usually uh, don't, don't really want to leave after the training's done, and we hate to have them leave. You know, it's a, we just like being with them. So our online training is designed to provide you with the tools to live joyfully with your dog. That, that's what we do. Um, we want you to be happy with your dog. Um, I don't go to shelters unless I have to. Um, I did that a whole bunch, uh, but we used to bring dogs out of shelters and, and put odors on them and, and uh, you know, uh, create them into detector dog type work. Um, it was always a joyful thing to bring a dog out of a shelter, right? I mean, for those of you who, who've adopted dogs and stuff, you know, that, that's kudos. We have such great respect and affection for you. But it comes with challenges, and shelters can be hard places. They, those who work in the shelters have to be really, really uh, neat people. Their, their, their hearts have, but they see a lot of sadness. You know, they, they see a lot of things that are really hard. Here comes the dog. He doesn't know what's going on. He has no idea what's happened there. And he's, he's in a cage and it stinks different and it's, it's not his place and he doesn't understand. And we believe that the vast majority this is, this is our feeling. It's unnecessary. And that, if, that if you have the direction, the love, the support, uh, the, the depth of assessment, the ability to teach your dog according to their ability to understand what's happening, um, not, not with uh, things that the dog, the dog struggles already. We're different species. So our specialty is to educate you in an exceptional manner so that you can communicate with your dog. We, we just finished a lesson here. Little Vishla puppy, right? Dars took that on, Sam, our, 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 our uh, instructors. They, they, they come in and this, this puppy is, you know, it's a Vishla puppy. It's beautiful, by the way. And... Um, as is often the case, one uh, of the handlers, the mama of this family, isn't really excited, right? I don't know if any of you out there know what I'm talking about, but not, not too excited about this because I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, the other members of the family are very excited. And... One of, one of the things that warms my heart is I listen to uh, our dog-to-dog -dog, uh, master instructors connecting with these people. Um, the husband, he's ready to rock and roll. You know, this is my puppy, and he's, but he's kind of looking, right? Uh, mm, yeah, uh, she's not really happy you know, with this. And what, they had a daughter here, and she's kind of happy with the dog, too. When we hear that sweet lady say, I am so happy. I feel so much better. Because we give you tools like right on the very first lesson. Yeah, this was it. First lesson. You know, on the very first lesson, we give you tools to start changing uh, how your dog sees you. And it is joyful. I mean, we, we say this all the time. It's like uh, there's no perfection 
there's only perfect partnership. And we, we teach you how to have that partnership with your dog, like bringing you guys together um, so that you can live joyfully. Um, there's nothing more rewarding when I see people struggling and then they start to master um, these tools and techniques and the training and being able to communicate with their dog. Um, it is joyful to, to witness. It, yeah. So this online training will launch on the 28th. Okay. That is, uh, it is at a, a uh, we want it to be affordable. We want with, with these, you folks that are involved in having rescued a dog during, during this uh, period of time where people are kind of locked down in their homes um, or for a lot of you, you're, you're just like with your kids, you're spending a ton of time with your dogs. And we kind of addressed this the other day. What does this mean? You know, I mean, my dog, is. I'm spending all this time with my dog. What's going to happen when I go back to work? You know, blah, blah, blah. We cover all of that. We are, we are really an A to Z training program uh, because we are psychologically based. We are not task oriented. Yes, you will be given uh, those things to, to practice. We'll always tell you why, that the online training will be exactly uh, li like what we would do if you came to us. But it's, if you speak English, you know, we will train you, you know, how to be with your dog. We will talk about multiple dogs. We will be accessible. Okay, so that you'll be able to uh, send questions in, those kind of things. We'll, we'll talk about that. Um, we, the online pr platform has proven to be so effective for us uh, with higher level training. Uh, our emotional support dog uh, platform is now gone online because of the, the, the situation with our culture right now and around the world. So that has been remarkably effective and there have been some real benefits one of one of which instead of being with us all the time coming and doing their training for your emotional support and therapy work you're working in your home again at that place and at that level where the dog is at their most resistant right they're going eh, i don't want to you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, you take me out the front door. And how many of you know this? You know, so, but at home, yeah, you know, and we tend to cut our dogs some slack, right, when they're at home. So basically, um, as, you, as you look at, at, at this program, we would ask you to, to get it out there. We want as many people, we're able to train as many people as are interested in this kind of thing. Now, I'm going to mention again, we're, we're also putting together a kids camp, okay? The ability to train kids. Um, I had a lady ask me the other day, say, you mentioned this kids camp thing, you know, whatever. I've had, I have several people waiting, you know, that they're, they've been waiting for this and I, I have had it in my heart for a long time. So we will provide not only the training for your dog through your child and the bond, but we will talk about everything that is necessary for you, the parents, to be happy while you're doing this. Feeding, keeping the water clean, bathing, grooming, brushing, poop scooping. You know, how can you be with the dog? How can you, the child, take the dog and be with it in a way that the parents are going, what the heck's going on here? You know, is, is, is this a, a risk? Is it a problem? Whatever. That whole thing will go through uh, twice a week for six weeks, uh, 12 sessions, broken into age groups. So be watching for that. And then we will have uh, kids camp uh, or, or kids and, and, and dogs, dog to dog, kids and dog type thing that will go on from there. So we are committed to this. You know, this, this is something that we believe in very, very strongly. Um, and, and whether it's like the kids camp or it's the online training, and even if you're doing group here or you do private, that kind of a thing, 
um, we talk all the time about applied obedience. So it's it when I'm working my dog, when I'm training my dog, it is first of all short, happy, intense bursts of training. Um, I need to be the sun kind of coming up for the dog. And it's like, yeah, come on, you and me, let's go, let's do this thing. But if, you, if it doesn't apply, if I can't have it work for me in my house, in my backyard, in my front yard, at the park, um, at the dog park, if you go to, go to dog parks, um, uh, when we're doing trainings um, on our Saturdays and stuff like that, if I didn't have the ability and the capability and the control to anchor my Airedale on a stay and me being able to work, um, it, it, it just would fall apart. She wouldn't be able to be there. You know, but being able to apply my obedience in any venue, and we say we can train any place, any time, you know, for any reason. We can train any human and we can train any dog. So, um, you know, being able to apply these principles, um, like one of the things sometimes people worry about is, you know, how much time is this going to take me? And so, you know, we kind of put a limit, like not more than 10 minutes. Um, sometimes people will do a couple uh, training sessions a day, but if you're willing to put in 10 minutes a day consistently and work the dog in the manner that we show you, um, we promise it's like you will have success. And the whole point is to bring you together with your dog so that you can live joyfully. Um, perfect partnership. Yeah. It's, and now kind of going along with that, the, we will give you tools. Okay. Now, so many students come to us and the questions that we are asked are often what we call point specific, which means how do I stop X? How do I stop my dog jumping up on people? Well, is there a tool for that? Of course there is. There's actually several. What people don't realize is pinching, tr trying to pinch that one thing off. Uh, my grandpa, I'll, I'll use my weird allegory, okay, I'm talking about what happens if you squeeze a toothpaste tube in the middle, right? It squirts out both ends. So sometimes in training, what that means is you squeeze to stop a behavior and we get, oh man, you know, and we often hear, man, the dog's never done that before. That's, oh, Scott, oh my gosh, you know, Darcy, I don't know what to do. You know, whatever. The problem is, number one, no one told you the why. We can do that and will. This is what's happening. This is what you're seeing. And people say, how do you know that? I don't, I don't understand how, how you, because the platform of instincts, drives, and character traits is where we operate from. So that training that we do is highly customizable. There, I mean, everybody's different, right? You know, oh, I can't, uh, there, I can't do that. that. That looks mean. There is no mean here. That's, we will look at you, what, what you want. So you, your questions come in, but we're always going to tell you the why. We're going to tell you the when. And we're going to tell you the what and the how. We're going to. Where is up to you. And often where we uh, open the world up to a dog, all of these things are, are applied. So if you come through the online program and you will be given the option to come into our advanced obedience program, um, online or if you're local, I mean here, whatever, you'll find out what you can do, as Darce mentioned, with applied obedience. I uh, that's when I first came to her house forever ago. And that's, that was what the deal is. You know, how does this benefit you? If you're teaching stay and having to sit and run gumball treats into the dog to keep them at stay, I'm going to ask you a real, real easy question here. What, what is that? How, how, how does that benefit you? Um, is that a stay that you, you can use anywhere you legally can take the dog? 
Is that a stay you can use at a soccer game or anything else? I mean, are you going to sit there? You know what, folks? That that's that's uh, that's not how I came up. That's I didn't come through that kind of training. Y your dog had to be any place, anywhere, anytime. Stay during the Olympics here in Salt Lake City. You know, I mean, I had people stepping over and running strollers over my bomb dog, who was on stay. You know, because there were 10,000 people in the food court at the time for the medal ceremony. And stay was stay. He was like, I can't believe that dog will just lay there. Perfectly possible. Can you do it? Absolutely. Absolutely, you can. We promise. We promise. And kind of what we talk about is that these are very basic principles, and we take you from kindergarten all the way to a PhD if that's what you desire. So we start at the very, you know, uh, bottom and we build things. And then there's always more to add. And I keep wanting to learn more and more. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, so there, there will be, there's no end to this. Um, we will have a resource area uh, that you can come into. We're going to do breed spotlights. Um, 36 years for me in March. Uh, Dars has got pretty close to 20, uh, you know, ourselves. So you're, you're talking almost 60 years of com combined stuff. We only say that. We know, we know what, we're what we're doing. We're, we're really, really good at what we do. And we are opening up to the world uh, our, our, our marvelous uh, Mark. Uh, I haven't asked him if I use his last name, but he's our IT guy. That, that, that's, that's, he's waving his wand and doing, he's, he's that wonderful voice you hear. Hang on, guys. You know, that, that's Mark. And so with his help, you know, we're going to jump out. So seriously speaking, I said this to someone just yesterday on the phone. If you have a dog, we can help you and we'll help you. I promise you that it will be a, an exceptional, warm experience. I promise you that that will be the case. Okay, so we need it out there. We're asking our, our pals and our stuff, you know, get, get this out there. Let's, let's get it up and going. Um, our launch is uh, nor normally our group lesson is 450 bucks uh, for the group. Um, our launch for the online stuff, we wanted to cut that in half at least, you know, or close to it. So it's 249 um, and- And then we did have a question that on pricing. So if we do a private Zoom with somebody, um, normally it's 950 to work with us one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and the same thing, it's like that will be uh, whatever half is. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. somebody do the math. Yeah. <laughs> quick, yeah. quick. Yeah. Math, Four, anybody. 475. Yeah, 475. So um, private, online, um, with us, you know, Scott and I um, and uh, some of our other trainers, we, we can work one on one with you if you have these specific issues. Um, and that is six um, private sessions. Yeah. So, um, and yeah. these prices will be this way for a while until, you know, the economy kind of gets back up and running. So hopefully that answered uh, your question. Yeah, we, we uh, I was asked, uh, there, there, there's a couple of three things um, that we hear all the time. Uh, one, about food and nutrition. We will have that available uh, on, on video form. Uh, other things about, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to work my dogs. I've got harness, collar, you know, leash. I, I don't understand. We're here for you. That's, we're going to cover all of that. But boy, we talked about this last time a little bit. We're, we're, I, I guess I'm looking at getting a dog. I had a traumatic experience as a child. Um, you know, how many of us, part of the thing of owning a dog is even best case scenario, you know, 12, 13 years and, and they're going to pass. And sometimes they pass much sooner than that. And sometimes it's really, really hard, uh, depending on whether it's an accident or something like that. 
that what's the best dog for me? I don't know what the best dog for me is. So if you can't imagine after combined 55 some odd years, you're, you're talking hundreds of breeds and breed mixes for us. We, we have seen hundreds of different dogs and every dog's different, right? And the gender thing, we talked about that a little bit. We will be doing a breed spotlight program as well. Um, we need, we'd like to hear from you. We'd like, please share, like, and, and have questions come in. Uh, we are kind of lifting this thing right off the, the, the bat, but this is not new for us, except the platform that we're teaching. This is the, the, we have done this for a long, long, long time. And you really aren't gonna surprise us. I, see, I always knock on something, you know, so knock on wood. And say, because, you know, in my career, sometimes you'll have something kind of jump at you. But anymore, not too much. Well, I have this breed, and I hear that it's a, guys, it's a dog. Its drive structures are fascinating to us. They're wonderful. This little Vishla puppy this morning. That is a sure enough little hunting dog. And it's not, hasn't been purchased to be a hunting dog. It's been pur purchased to be a running companion and some other things. That's, that's all perfectly possible. Um, so that's, I hope we've answered those questions. People say, is it as effective as being per, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can say that our study shows um, the experiences we're having, um, it's, it's awesome. Those of you who are local, um, we will provide access to our confidence and social immersion as part of the online training that can get here uh, to be with us when we do those. And we will look at something similar to that weekly online um as well in the future but let us know about interest whatever all of those questions that come with a puppy all of those questions that come with a rescue dog you just love this dog you know it's beautiful it's i oh my gosh it's and then the dog settles into your home and there may be some behaviors we're not quite sure what to do and i don't want to be me i need to know what to do, we're your answer. Dog to dog. That's, uh, um, do you have any other, I, I don't know, anything? Um, if you do have questions, I don't care what it's about. If you send those in um, to the email, see then we can start uh, seeing what kind of questions you have. We can add more information to um, the online stuff. And we'll we'll address them here. Yeah, you know, and, quite a and that here. way it's just like we can start answering your questions. Like if I don't know what your questions are, I mean, we guess because we hear lots of things every day. But if you have something specific, please, you know, reach out um, and and ask the question, and we'll do our best to get to you and and answer that. Questions about breed, uh, about uh, the fourteen hundred and fifty million doodles, you know, and and everything mm -hmm. else. If you have a question about that specific brick bring it in that's and, what we're here for well and one of the things like a lot of times people make you know breed specific statements about you know a certain breed um we don't do that because i have seen the sweetest chihuahuas and i've seen very Scar scars. naughty scars you know chihuahuas, chihuahuas. Scars. but you can have monsters and angels in every breed um and so being able to you know, sort that and look at temperament. I mean, in, and if you're picking a dog, like we kind of talked about some of those things, but it's it being able to, um, you know, be wise about your purchase and and how you're going to bring that dog into your into your life. I mean, they're I mean, my dogs, they're and my cats and everything else that we collect. <laughs> you know, um, they bring me joy and they are part of my family. They're not just, you know, like Gypsy's a working dog um, and she's highly trained um, and we keep doing fun things with her because she has the, 
um, the drives, capacity. you know, and to be able to do those things. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, she comes and lays that big black head in my lap um, and it eases the tension, the stress, um, you know, they are wonderful at that. They don't ask you how you are. They don't ask you how your day was, you know, they just come and love you. So um, that's kind of like how we live with our, our dogs. That's what we teach, by the way. Um, that, that's another question, actually, that was just asked, uh, uh, again, just yesterday. Um, talk to me about this. I, I, I don't have any, it was Madeline. Yeah. Uh, she's, you know, she has this wonderful dog. She's had some child challenges. We've done it, the private, you know, kind of sorting her particular thing. And she said something really interesting to me. I... I could tell what she wanted to ask. You know, I said, well, you're, you're talking about emotional support dog. And she said, well, yeah, but I don't have a disorder. You know, I haven't been diagnosed with a disorder or anything and stuff. So you hear what Darcy says. Okay. She doesn't have a disorder either. You know, not, not, not a clinical one. Uh, so, I mean, we all, though, have our stress, our anxiety. So, we teach emotional support as just that. Yes, there's a, there's a whole bunch of advanced work so that the dog can be in venues and environments where there's a whole bunch of stimulus, other dogs, children, people, you know, traffic, whatever. Our job is to create that companion that can offload what I believe most of us are dealing with. Now, this, this current health thing has shown that there's a lot of underlying stress in the world. There, there, there's, a, there's a ton. And when you got that big dog head, I have Trike, my, my three-legged American Bulldog Pit Mix, um, and his head is about that big. And he plop. With those beautiful gray green eyes, he just looks at me. Love you, Dad. You know, that is, people say, Oh, I would love that, you know, but I, my dog will only do that every once in a while, you know, whatever. And then they freak out. They, they, they don't want, well, yeah, there's a dominance issue there. You know, there's this, uh, the dog, I don't want to, you know, at the time, that is what the training is for, is to blend, bring those, those two people together. Okay, now a heads up for next week. Okay, um, this is a question I've written down. There's five separate people, um, and let us know if you also, you know, whatever. My dog is lonely, so I'm going to get another dog to keep it company, or maybe two, or five, or whatever, right? So, um, one thing you're going to learn about us at Dog to Dog. Okay, we both, we are, we are one in our training and in our desires for you. We are different besides gender, you know, whatever. We, sit, we, we are strengthening each other's weakness and stuff. We make a great team. But we're very different in the way we see things. But we won't criticize. We're not going to. We're not going to say, this is the best food. This is, we're not, we, that is not our purpose here. Our purpose is to provide you with a true, accurate assessment by professionals about anything, food, equipment, whatever. Well, one of those things is, am I stupid to have more than one dog? That, that, that's an absolute quote. Of course not. We're not going to tell you you're stupid for anything. Do you need a little different direction? Do you need more direction? Do you need more knowledge about how the dog works? Of course, it's a change in environment. So we're gonna talk about that, that question. What is involved with multiple dogs, especially, but then I'm gonna have chickens. Okay, can I have chickens? Um, what about a ferret? You know, what about, what about, it's like with a cat, right? Can I have fish? Can I have a bird? We'll talk about, those well, and, and I see uh, <coughs> on my 
Airedale Terrier page on Facebook, um, a lot of these questions kind of come through. And there's like tons of different responses from people who own dogs, specifically Airedales. Um, and somebody asked a question about a guinea pig. And this is a young Airedale. Well, uh, you know, my thing is like, well, what's its parents? You know, what's the dad like? What's the mom like? What's the prey drive like? People think that you can just, you know, train prey drive out of a dog. You cannot. So depending on the percentage, you know, of, of where on the scale that dog um, drive kicks in, um, and I've seen some things that are most unpleasant, um, and it is interesting, fascinating, terrifying. Um, I mean, if you see working dogs doing rats, I mean, it's crazy, um, but you can't expect every dog. I mean, I see those pictures on Facebook where you have the dog and the chicks, you know, and the rabbit and all, and, 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 and the cats and all that. Like, there are some dogs that that is possible, but there are other dogs that is not a possibility. So we, we talk about those things as well. It's like we want you to be able to be safe with your dog, with other animals. Um, and, you know, Gypsy came out of working stock. And so I thought this is going to be interesting to see how this rolls out. Um, and I had, you know, uh, restriction and some control and stuff like that as she aged. Um, and um, her prey drive isn't so high that it's a problem and we live peacefully but there's things i do not allow her to do with my cats i don't allow her to chase them and play with them and all those things because if that drive tips over it could end in a disaster um and there's other situations it's just like it can be from zero to 100 and you can have a dead animal so um just don't cross, cross your fingers and hope to die uh, we talk about that a lot now, I didn't come up through the civilian, what, what I consider civilian training or, or the, the public training for, for dogs. Um, that, that just wasn't where I came from. I came up through, so when we talk about working dogs, that was my life. Um, I, I was an explosive detection dog handler, bomb dog guy. Um, I trained, certified both men and dogs and deployed myself many, many times. Um, yeah, I know, not real bright, right? It's, uh, most, most intelligent people don't go out deliberately looking for bombs. But, um, so when we talk about work, working drives, a dog's possibilities, understand that that has come from a solid base. I was trained through the West German police psychology system. That's, it was the finest training in the, in the free world at that time, um, which was a long time ago. I've added to it for 36 years uh, with virtually day-to-day, -day, daily work with people and their dogs. We are as concerned for your ability to apply your dog in the life that you want to live with it. I don't care if it's hiking or running or sitting on the couch with the head in the lap eating popcorn. We don't care, but I can tell you that obedience and all of the structure that we will give you is designed for you to live joyfully where you want to on how you want to. Infant coming into the home. Heaven forfend there's a death. Child goes off to college, a big one, you move, a new house and stuff. These are all things that occur in, the, in a dog's life. We understand. We know what they are. We know how they work. And we will help you. We promise. So that, I guess, about it. Yeah. You know, for, for, for what we wanted to say today, um, we are asking, uh, most humbly pleading, um, for you to get on there. Uh, especially those of our loved ones out there, our dear ones, we love all of you and your dogs. Uh, get this out there, give it a shot. This is the time to do it. Um, it is uh, affordable, um, exceptional training, very, very enjoyable. 
Uh, we, we, it's our goal to, to make this a very enjoyable experience, not only for you, but for your dog. We're going to talk a lot about that. We want your dog to be happy. Uh, we know that you want your dog to be happy, and that's what we'll do for you. We promise. Send us your questions. Yep. Um, we appreciate it. And we'll see you. Ya. Yep. We'll see you next you week. You know?